hello all of you now next topic is structured semi structured and unstructured data again which comes under what data science so here there are three types of data first one is structured data structured data is nothing but what data which is stored in some such structure format that is in terms of rows and columns like the sql database semi structured data it is information that does not reside in rational database but that have some organizational properties that make it easier to analyze so here semi structured data may be structured or may be unstructured format so here examples of this xml database json no sql database next one is unstructured data so it is the data that is not organized in predefined manner or does not have a predefined data model so under this examples are word word document pdf text media and logs now there is a difference between structured semi structured and unstructured data so in terms of technology structured data it is based on relational database table semi structured data it is based on xml unstructured data it is based on character and binary data next is transaction here um, in case of structured data transaction is mature transaction and various concurrency techniques we can apply with structured data in case of semi structured data transaction is adapted from the dbms in unstructured data no transaction management and no concurrency management next one is in terms of flexibility structured data it is schema dependent and less flexible in semi structured data it is more flexible than structured but less flexible than unstructured in case of unstructured data it is very flexible and there is absence of schema here there is no schema as it is a unstructured data in case of structured data there is a schema scalability it is very difficult to scale database schema in case of structured data scaling is simpler than here structured data in case of semi structured it is very scalable as it is unstructured we can scale here query performance in case of structured data it allow the structured query in case of semi structured data queries over the anonymous nodes are possible because here uh, in case of semi structured data uh, the it data is the terms of xml in unstructured data only textual queries are possible now what is actually xml so xml it is the extensible markup language we can uh, create our own tag with the help of xml xml was created to structure store and transfer the information so for the data science data storage xml is very important xml is complement to html it is hardware and software independent tool it is a data transmission tool as well as data storage tool here in xml store data in semi structured format it is also portable and compatible with programming language java so this is the example of xml so we can define uh, uh, here we can define xml document so here books.xml is one of the document here we can define with the help of here xml version 1.0 and encoding is utf8 this is standard format now here these are the different tags first tag is main bookstore under the bookstore tag so we can create our own tag book category so category is here cooking language here everyday italian sorry uh, title is here uh, everyday italian author is here giada year in the uh, 2005 and price of this book is 30 so this is one of the book category next one is uh, children category same is, same is here next one is uh, book category is web again same here so this is all about what book store under the book store there are different book categories having what title author year and price so we can define here xml document now the functions use uh, for with uh, xml document so first function is x query so what is the use of x query it uses uh, sorry it is used to extract data from what xml document now here doc function another function which is used to open what books.xml file now here the syntax is doc in parenthesis in double quotes write down books.xml next one is path expression so here x query uses the path expression to navigate through what elements in an xml document is if you want to navigate through what elements uh, in xml document for that we have to use x query function now here following is path expression now see uh, here a document is books.xml under this next tag is bookstore under this book tag is there and next one is title tag now see uh, the query is what we have to select the bookstore element 
under that we have to select book under that we have to select the title so see here output is title everyday italian here another title is harry potter next title is xquery kickstart another one is learning xml so query is what we have to extract what title from what books under the tag bookster from the document books.xml now here uh, next one is predicates so xquery uses what predicates to limit the extracted data from the xml document so we can uh, give here the query like this uh, there is a condition where to uh, extract the book elements under the bookstore element that have the price element with a value that is less than 30 so what is our query same query is there doc is books.xml bookstore tag is there under that book but we have to extract the book having the price less than 30 so here if we apply this query we will get here this output so here book category children having the price what less than 30 so this is about what predicate now another one is expression is flower uh, actually the spelling is flwr so what do you mean by this so first one is f means for l means late w means where o means order by r means written so what is for for selects a sequence of nodes from what xml document late binds the sequence to a variable where means it filter out the nodes order by means sorting the nodes and return means what to return or what to extract now here this is a uh, expression see uh, the previous expression we can extract the title having price greater than 30 so for that by using flwr expression see here the query for dollar x in doc books dot xml from where bookstore under that book tag is there where condition is what dollar x price is greater than 30 now we have to extract what return title so where is the condition return what you have to return title from where book dot xml having the condition price greater than 30 so here result is like this x query kickstart and learning xml now with the flower again uh, the second query is c same query is there sorry so here what do you mean by for clause it select all the book elements under the bookstore element into a variable called dollar x so here see this dollar x we can extract the book from what bookstore from this document now where clause it selects only the book elements with the price value greater than 30 order by it uh, it defines what sorting order now return clause it should specify what what to return so here output is like this x query expression now we stop here